Hey everyone, my name is Peter Zaitsev. I am co-founder at Karut, and I'm very happy to speak here at uh, Washington DC K KCD. I will talk to you about house testing of PostgreSQL cluster on Kubernetes. I think this is a very interesting topic because uh, databases are uh, rather complicated and uh, reliability is very important for them. So really playing with different kind of failures and understanding what really happens uh, is uh, quite an uh, very interesting and valuable uh, thing to do. We'll use a pretty simple lab, which is a, a K3S cluster with your corner operator running highly available Postgres with three nodes. And the simple Golang application, we just, you know, run some queries. It is not uh, specifically important uh, at this point. We'll start by injecting a simple failure. We will kill one of uh, the replicas and see uh, what happens. Maybe you thought it is just replica and nothing will happen. Well, actually it does. We can see what application starts to get an errors and this process happens for about 60 seconds. If you look at more details, we'll see what the application tries to connect to DB replicas endpoints and fails to do so. We can also see what specifically happens uh, in this case in uh, application uh, error logs, and we can see the same connection error uh, as well. We can also take a look at from Kubernetes point of view, and we can see what one of the instances uh, uh, went uh, down and uh, Kubernetes is uh, trying to restart that node, which uh, uh, has happened about uh, five times before uh, it uh, really uh, made uh, this node uh, uh, unavailable. We can also take a look what is going on from a Postgres standpoint. Well, Postgres, she sees what uh, out of the three node clusters, we see one of the node is down, so we don't have any metrics out there, while primary and replica are still uh, operating. Finally, there is a, a Patroni point of view, which allows us to see uh, in uh, the logs a bunch of uh, different errors, right? We see the Patroni feels isolated and uh, really unable to talk to um, anything. Let's try the more significant uh, uh, failure, now we will uh, kill uh, their uh, primary uh, uh, using uh, this configuration. From an application point of view, things now are different. We can see what we first have a gap, which just corresponds to application, you know, trying to connect, it has no timeout, so no requests complete at that point from application standpoint, and then spike of errors and then uh, uh, long uh, uh, timeouts. We can also uh, see what uh, one of connections uh, now fails to uh, the primary for a while. Uh, and uh, we can see number of different errors from applications point of view. We say we have the same one we saw before, connection timeout, but we also have too many clients, which often happens, right, when you have uh, the, the, a lot of uh, requests sort of like a buffered and then a lot of uh, connections try to establish uh, uh, at the same time. We also can see what happens uh, in terms of switch over, right? We can see what uh, uh, the primary was uh, one database and then it became uh, another database, right? And uh, uh, we can see number of requests now has been balanced so they only go to two nodes instead of three nodes as they have been uh, going uh, previously. So as a summary, we can see what the chaos mess is awesome to simulate the failures on Kubernetes. As this is a lightning talk, I could only show you a couple of them and uh, very briefly, but you can, of course, test much more things. And I would suggest you to do that before you run into problems in production. We can also see what Karoot is an open source observability software, which is great to see what is going on and all the different levels on Kubernetes level, on application level, and so on and so forth. And I think the most important one to take away is what default configuration may actually have much more downtime in the case of failure than you anticipated. 60 seconds or three minutes, maybe more than you want to see. So. Uh, configure your operators uh, and Kubernetes uh, wisely. 
that's all i have to say. thank you.